this is Shelley Burkholtz. Welcome to Fiberscapes. On this channel, I show you my process of creating landscape paintings using yarn and glue on wood panel. Today we're back to the work in progress for this piece titled Wildness Blooms. It's inspired by the wild roses that are abundant along the shore of the St. Lawrence River in Canada. I chose to put in the background first, on the top third of the board, as shown in my last video. Now I'm working on a wild rose bush that's to take up most of the foreground. Before this project, I hadn't tried specific forms like flowers. They pose the biggest challenge, so I started adding them to the foreground right away. It took a few tries before I was satisfied with my first rose. I put it in and then scraped it off multiple times. At first I tried using yarns I had on hand but it became clear that I needed a few different ones for this project. This beautiful dark fuchsia wool was so lovely to work with, and I absolutely love the rich color. As I said, I do remove yarn sometimes after putting in a section. Ideally, this happens right away, or within a few hours, because removal isn't perfect after glue is dried. You can see fragments of previous attempts surrounding one of the roses here they will be covered. Anyway, once I had the experience of putting the full blooms in, the rosebuds were so much fun. I enjoyed playing with them in different stages of development. It was difficult to stop when there were enough. I draw on the board a little at times, especially when I'm unsure of where to go next. Sometimes I follow the scribbles and other times I don't, but the planning of the next step can really help keep me moving in my work. Here I'm just drawing with my embossing tool. It does leave faint lines in the primed board. The graphite from a pencil can mix with the glue and affect the brightness of white or very light colored yarn. That's why I started using this tool, but sometimes it's just the closest thing that's handy. Here there were two rosebuds near and parallel to the bottom edge. They didn't look natural arranged like that, so I scraped one off. I did not expect it to lift off in one piece. That had never happened before. It was a nice surprise, though. Here I'm deciding on its new position. I try to arrange the rosebuds to appear somewhat random, but as you can see, my choice here is very intentional and considered. To me, it's an interesting paradox.
For the foliage in the rose bush, I had to decide how much detail to include. Originally, I intended to define only a sprig or two of leaves, and the rest I expected to leave more vague. When I got down to work though, I really enjoyed adding definition to the leaves, so I continued. Thank you.